Hi everyone and welcome to today's episode of The Daily Grind. A few days ago I posed a question in the Cyber Sewing School Facebook group and I asked why would a $150 machine stitch way better on a particular fabric than a machine that costs a few thousand dollars? And I had a couple answers and Robin got the answer right. She said, is it the feed dogs? Yes, it is. I truly believe that that was the issue that my, one of my customers was facing when she came into the store and she said, look at this. My husband is really upset because I have this machine that I paid a few thousand dollars for and it won't sew this fabric. Shouldn't this machine sew this fabric? Well, it should, but there's that big butt. In the garment sewing world, there are a lot of people that say, I don't want to use anything but a five millimeter machine. It matters in garment sewing. And it kind of does for a very, um, I think for a very select type of fabric, which I don't really use very often. So she found this fabric and she really wanted it. So she came in and I said, all right, let's try a couple things. Number one, let's try a Microtex needle. We did. Let's try the walking foot. We did. Let's try the straight stitch plate. We did and it didn't really improve the situation all that much. So then on a hunch, I thought, hmm, what could this be? And I got to thinking about the feed dogs, so I turned around and I went to use the Janome 1600P, which is a straight stitch machine, single hole plate, and all it does is a straight stitch, and the feed dogs are closer together. It's stitched that beautifully. All right, so that's a machine that's around, uh, you know, in that $1,000 range. Then. I went over to our inexpensive sewing machine area and I put that same fabric piece under a $150 machine. That machine did an absolutely beautiful job of stitching this fabric. Again, feed dogs are closer together. So what are feed dogs? I'm going to be doing another video specifically on two types of terms that you should be aware of whenever you go into a sewing store because it will just make you seem very knowledgeable about your machine. And I'm going to focus on those two things to explain to you what the feed dogs are and what type of feed dogs are on the market on some of these machines. But the principle I'm trying to explain to you here is the narrower or closer the feed dogs are together, the better the feeding was on this particular fabric and it really mattered. All right, hope you learned something today. Feed dogs will affect the stitching on certain types of tricky fabrics. All right, you guys, take care.